Hello, today's video we have the following content. Mo Yu Yun Jian is on the air. How come Yu Shen, who made Yang Mi and Xiao Li Ying famous, has a downgraded aesthetic? Joy of Life 2 starring Zhang Rei and just finished airing, and Yu Shang's new drama Mo Yu Yun Jian was aired. This work, which Yu Shang claimed was not afraid of colliding with the schedule of the big drama, was only aired after the advance on demand of Joy of Life 2 was completed. Only Wang Yixu believed Yu Shang's nonsense and moved up the schedule of Fox Spirit Matchmaker Yu Huang chapter, but was beaten by Joy of Life 2. Mo Yu Yun Jian won the second place on the first day of its broadcast, ranking only after Joy of Life 2, and even defeated Fox Spirit Matchmaker Yu Huang chapter starring two traffic stars Yang Mi and Gong Jun. It's fine that Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Moon Red can't beat Joy of Life 2, but this time even Mo Yu Yun Jian can easily crush Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Moon Red which shows that this drama has problems from all aspects, including screenwriters, actors, and directors. It seems that the success of Kang Lan Ju is accidental, which makes people start to worry about the next Fox Spirit series Bamboo Industry Chapter and King Power Chapter. Mo Yu Yun Jian takes the root of revenge drama. The heroine Zhu Fang Fri, played by Wu Jinian, is the wife of the top scholar Shen Yuren, played by Liang Yonki. Unexpectedly, Princess Wanying fell in love with Shen Yuren. In order to save his family, Shen Yuren could only watch Zhu Fangfei being framed, and he also buried Zhu Fangfei alive. Zhu Fangfei's fate was not to die, and she was saved by the daughter of Zhang Shuling Jiang Li, played by Yang Che Oiyu. Later, Jiang Li died of serious injuries. Zhu Fangfei replaced Jiang Li's identity and went back to avenge the people who framed herself and Jiang Li. Although Wu Jinian became popular for starring in Story of Yangtze Palace, her appearance is not a traditional beauty. After she became popular, she offended the movie channel because of her big name. Her subsequent works were not good, and she became an outdated artist. Wu Jinian, who looks smart, is now starring in a cool drama again, and has a new chance to become popular again. Wang Xingyu, who plays the male lead, is a young actor that Yu Sheng has been promoting after Su Kai. He has starred in Zhou Sheng Rugu, Fragrance of the Secret, and in The Snowstorm, and is also a familiar face to the audience. Wang Xingyi was obviously chosen according to Chen Zio's eyebrows and eyes. Chen Zio graduated from the Central Academy of Drama, and Wang Xingyi also graduated from the Central Academy of Drama. He is worthy of being a one will like Quing. Although he has acted in many dramas and his acting skills are not bad, his long face means that only a few people can get his appearance. Chen Zio, who was made famous by Yu Sheng, is a standard Chinese handsome guy with a more rounded and generous appearance. No wonder he can become Yu Shang's white moonlight. Another actor that Yu Shang is promoting in the drama is Liang Yongki, who plays the ex-husband. He was previously promoted to look like Zhu Yilin and Tony Loon, but in the drama, his facial lines are too rugged. Apart from gender, he has no similarities with Zhu Yilin and Tony Loon. Even the animated picture with filters doesn't look much better. It's hard to praise such a face. In the same frame with Wu Jinian, the two don't have a CP feeling which makes people unable to knock Wu Jinian and Su Kai better. Zhao Qing, who was praised by Yu Sheng, also played a small role. This role was originally Jiang Yuai's, but during the filming, Jiang Yuai was caught in a tax evasion storm, and the crew found Zhao Qing to replace her. Zhao Qing looked pretty when she was a Hanfu model, but in the TV series, her high cheekbones, three white eyes and swollen face made her unpopular with the audience. Although she debuted under the name of Little Zhao Luying, her appearance is far worse than Xiao Liying. In the drama The Fragrance of the Dark aired last year, Zhao Qing played the second female lead. Her wooden acting skills were severely criticized by netizens. Zhao Qing's problem is not only her acting skills, but also her lack of beauty. She looks like a beauty among ordinary people and an ordinary person among celebrities. Yang Chao whose acting skills have been criticized before, but her looks and appearance are impeccable. She is a figure who beats Wu Jinian and Zhao Qing in the drama. Che Oi whose acting skills are not good enough to play the heroine, but she is very suitable for playing supporting roles that only appear for a few minutes, and it is not easy to expose the shortcomings of acting and lines. Back then, Yu Zhang made Yang Mi famous with Palace Lockhart Jade and made Zhao Liying famous with Legend of Lu Zhen. His aesthetics were normal, but now his artist's appearance has been downgraded in lack of explosive appearance, which makes me begin to doubt his selection of people in recent years. Every time, Yu Zhang brags well, but when it comes to really speaking with his works, he is embarrassed. The appearance and acting skills of the actors in Yu Zhang's TV dramas are getting worse with each generation. 
Yuzhang might as well appear less on trending searches and spend more energy signing suitable actors and improving the acting skills of his artists. After all, professional ability is the key to an artist's long-term success. Next news. Congratulations, you have successfully destroyed Yang Mi. At the end of 2023, at the awards night of Tao Chang's year and ceremony, Tao Chang gave a loan award to Yang Mi who had zero works in 2023 the most watched actress in 2024. Yang Mi gave an acceptance speech, in 2024, our works will meet. The works that Yang Mi talks about are Harb in 1944, nothing that can't be solved by a hot pot and fox demon matchmaker, Yu Hong which were released this year. What is unexpected is that all three of these high-profile works turned over. First of all, in the TV series Harb in 1944, Yang Mi starred in a spy film for the first time, playing the role of Guan Zhu, the chief of the intelligence department of the puppet man Xu Guo. However, as a ruthless intelligence section chief who had been specially trained in Japan, Yang Mi's performance was not satisfactory. Thin body, poor posture, unclear lines, facial features flying around when making big expressions, performing a fashion show in the drama. Yang Mi's performance in the drama was ridiculed by the entire network. Then, the movie Nothing That Can't Be Solved by Hot Pot starring Yang Mi was released for three days on May 1st, with a box office of only 50 million. The director tearfully announced its withdrawal, and it was immediately broadcast for free on the internet and became a movie. A joke in the circle. Just a few days ago, the much-anticipated Fox Fairy matchmaker, Moon Red starring Yang Mi and Gong Jun was released. Yang Mi thought that she could win back a victory with the ancient puppets. However, after only a few episodes were aired, Yang Mi received collective complaints from netizens, including Fox Demon Old Matchmaker, Exhausted Look, Eyes Cat Open, Middle-Aged Ancient Idol, The Microdermabrasion Filter is Ridiculously Large, I Still Haven't Gotten Rid of the Habit of Puckering My Lips When I Say a Word. It has been two days since the show aired, and the popularity of Fox Demon Matchmaker, Moon Red Chapter has not yet exceeded 9,000 in Tao Chang. You know, the dramas that had previously exceeded 10,000 in popularity almost all exceeded 9,000 the next day. Last year, another 85-year-old Liu Shishi starred in the ancient puppet drama One Thought of Guanshan. Except for the protagonist Liu Shishi, the other actors were almost unknown. However, the popularity of the play exceeded 9,000 the next day. In the end, the series has exceeded 10,000. Mingan Like a Dream starring 90-year-old Bai Lu also exceeded 9,000 hits on the second day. Bai Lu's partners are only newcomers Ang Lin and fledgling Wang Zingayu. In addition to the two leading roles of Yang Mi and Gong Jun, Fox Fairy Matchmaker, Moon Red also has dozens of supporting characters who can be named. With such a luxurious lineup, the popularity has stagnated. Can the show break the 10,000 mark? None of it is known. It can only be said that Yang Mi's market share in Guwu has been gradually eroded by 90 flowers and 95 flowers, and the name Yang Mi no longer has the same appeal as before. Obviously, the works of 2024 will meet. Yang Mi did not receive flowers or applause from the audience, but more abuse and ridicule from the audience. Yang Mi debuted as a child star at the age of four and has been acting for 34 years. She has been popular for 10 years. As a model worker in the entertainment industry, why does Yang Mi have no improvement in her acting skills? Why does Yang Mi no longer have the appeal he once had? In fact, there are traces of everything 01 becoming famous at a young age is a matter of beauty and luck, and it has nothing to do with the quality of her acting skills. Yang Mi was born in Beijing. She comes from a wealthy family and has been favored since she was a child. When Yang Mi was a child, she was more naughty than other children. Children in other families all learn piano, dancing, and calligraphy, but Yang Mi can't calm down after learning anything. Being impatient and not focused enough on one thing starts to show up at this time. Therefore, Yang Mi's parents enrolled Yang Mi in an actor training class. Unexpectedly, four-year-old Yang Mi was selected by director Chen Jilin to play Princess Zian Ai in Tang Ming Huang. The five-year-old Yang Mi was spotted by the director of The Legend of Su Kiran played the daughter of the leading actor Su Ken, played by Stephen Chow. At the age of six, Yang Mi collaborated with Liu Zai Aling Tuan in the TV series Monkey Baby, playing the role of Nanan, which left a deep impression on Li Zai Aowen, the TV producer at the time. The acting career in childhood may have been just a little fun. It wasn't until 2002, when 16-year-old Yang Mi signed a contract with Ron Xin the company founded by Li Zai Aowen and Li Shei Ohong, that she officially entered the entertainment industry. Fortunately, in 2004, 
At the age of 18, Yang Mi received the role of Guo Xiyang in Jin Yong's martial arts drama The Legend of the Condor Heroes. It was this little Guo Xiyang, who was both good and evil, and had a compelling aura, that made Yang Mi famous in the entertainment industry, and even directly rose to the four little actresses in the entertainment industry at that time. In 2008, 22-year-old Yang Mi made a splash with her role as Zhu Jian in Legend of Sword and Fairy III. She also gained recognition from the audience and industry insiders for her bright and lively Zhu Jian in the play. In 2011, 25-year-old Yang Mi became a well-known popular actress with her role as King Chuan in the time travel drama Gong Mok Heart Jade. Since then, Yang Mi's top trend era has begun, and her popularity has never diminished in the past 13 years. Yang Mi has never taken a break since Sword and Sword III became a hit. In 2010, she filmed 11 film and television works and was hailed as a model worker in the entertainment industry. However, none of these works that focus on quantity rather than quality cannot withstand the polish of time. In recent years, while the popularity has been rising, Yang Mi's acting skills have been constantly questioned. Why is it that after more than 20 years of acting, he graduated from the famous Beijing Film Academy? and he has nothing to do with his acting skills. Attentive friends may have discovered that the three dramas mentioned above that made Yang Mi popular have one thing in common. Guo Xiyang in The Legend of the Condor Heroes, King Chuan in The Heart of the Palace, and Zhu Jian in Legend of Sword and Fairy III. These characters are young, lively, simple girls with no depth image. When Yang Mi performed these roles, she was a girl of this age, so she was very comfortable in acting. Yang Mi has been praised for her aura before. Perhaps it is not because Yang Mi needs so much acting skills to play this role, but because it fits her own image and is her true character. Therefore, she is more natural and relaxed, which creates a classic. However, once it was time to play a deep and complex role, Yang Mi showed her timidity zero to if you don't act carefully, you can't understand the deep and complex characters, and your acting skills are always superficial. In A Dream of Red Mansions, Yang Mi plays the role of King Wen, a maid with a heart as high as the sky and a life as thin as paper, but no matter how she plays, she doesn't feel right. Sun. Yang Mi filmed a scene for a week and was criticized by director Li Shei Ohong all day long. The result was still unsatisfactory to director Li Shei Ohong. Director Li Shei Ohong's evaluation of Yang Mi's acting skills was also very accurate. Yang Mi's biggest problem is that she has been on the film crew since she was very young and is so accustomed to acting that she subconsciously programmed her performances. Happiness is how ha ha and pain is wow wow. She has no brains, so that she finally thought she doesn't know how to live when her brain is in a state of confusion. In the movie I Am a Witness, Yang Mi plays a blind girl, but she doesn't look like a blind person. In the movie Baby, Yang Mi plays a low-level hospital cleaner, but she subconsciously raises her orchid fingers when taking out the trash. She doesn't have the temperament that this character should have at all. When filming the TV series Harb in 1944, Yang Mi invited an acting teacher to provide one-on-one -on -one guidance. Yang Mi's acting teacher said, Yang Mi has been acting for more than 20 years, and her acting skills have become a part of her. If you make her laugh, she will laugh immediately, and if you make her cry, after saying the action, the tears will fall down. She plays sexy and charming. Just like playing. However, what is deeper behind the laughter and crying? What is the underlying logic in the relationship between the characters, including the understanding of people, is what Yang Mi is missing most at that stage. The change that Yang Mi really needs to delve into, and what she is also trying to change, is the perception of a character and a work. From the perspective of a real actor, it is a completely different state to present it in another state, Zhang. Li, the director of Harb in 1944 said, Yang Mi has many bad habits inherited from her previous idol drama performances. For example, she doesn't like to open her mouth when speaking. She habitually shuts up and breaks off every sentence she speaks, because this can ensure the camera captures. When it comes to her, she is always good-looking, she also always looks for the camera unconsciously to show her best angle, she also has too many little tricks and always wants to light up the table. In addition to Yang Mi's unwillingness to abandon the baggage of being an idol apart from this, the biggest problem with her acting skills is the procedural nature of the performance. No matter what role she plays, her performance is superficial, and she never loses focus. I watched many interviews with Yang Mi and found that many of the preparations she did for the script were minor details. For example, when filming Harb in 1944, she studied the posture of holding the gun and the method of loading the bullet, when filming nothing that can't be solved by a hot pot, 
She memorized the positioning of each place and the lines of the opponent's actors. When filming The Little Matchmaker, she cared whether she tilted her head to the left or to the left. Facing right. Yang Mi has never penetrated deeply into the heart of a character to feel the complexity and contradiction of the character. I care more about these small details that are not so important. It's like a student who studies hard but uses it in the wrong place. When filming the movie Baby, director Liu Ji said, Yang Mi comes to the set happily every day and greets me as soon as she comes in every day. Hey, director, I am actually angry in my heart. She should actually be like a low-level person. Like a child, living in a relatively gray state. Even at the film press conference, director Liu Ji said bluntly, I am actually struggling until now. I regret why I didn't let you play the mute at that time. During the filming of Harp in 1944, Yang Mi sat next to the monitor every day. I thought that Yang Mi would be able to understand and figure out the emotions and psychology of the characters better this time by spending time in the scene every day. However, what Yang Mi felt was I am so happy. You must know that the character played by Yang Mi is tragic, helpless and lonely. In the past six months, Yang Mi has never integrated into the atmosphere. Kin Hao, the actor who plays opposite Yang Mi, talked about his understanding of acting in an interview, saying, I don't play any role or character for the sake of acting. I don't have any acting skills, and my so-called acting skills are real. I think truth is the most precious thing for an actor. You said how well I acted, but I don't think I acted well. If you say something about my acting, then you will scold me. Because I am this character, living in it, and acting in it for you to see. When I was filming, I didn't go home for half a year. I was in this character, in that role. Ken Hao's understanding of acting and characters is adequate. This is also why his acting skills are always so natural. No matter what drama it is, he has no trace of acting, because he really feels this character. When he is no longer Ken Hao, but this character, then he all words and deeds will happen naturally according to the direction of this character. Zhao Liang, who is also a 85-year-old girl, starred in the movie Article 20 directed by Zhang Yimou. Zhao Liang played a mute mother. Not only did she appear without makeup. Every day at the filming side of the movie, Zhao Liang wore earplugs all day long and sat in the corner without talking, in order to find the state of the character. Lei Jiayan, an actor in the same crew, didn't even know that Zhao Liayin had been wearing earplugs on the set. Lei Jiayin thought this was Zhao Liayin's way of working, so she never dared to disturb Zhao Liayin. Zhao Liayin's performance in front of big directors is the same. Zhang Yimou also gained a new understanding of Zhao Liayin because of this cooperation. It turns out that popular celebrities also have acting skills and are willing to endure hardships. Compared to Zhao Liayin who didn't talk to anyone on the set, she was looking for the state of this character. Yang Mi sits on the scene every day and feels I am very happy which is extremely ironic. Yang Mi's focus on characters has never been about the characters themselves. She does not understand and think about the characters' deeper feelings and hearts. This also leads to the singularity of Yang Mi's performance. The most important thing for Yang Mi now is to calm down and read the script. If you can't understand it after reading it once, then read it ten times or a hundred times. Only by understanding your own character thoroughly and getting it right can you perform a role that is lifelike, down-to-earth, and realistic. Of course, what she needs to think about more is whether she wants to be a good actor or a big star. If she wants to be a good actress, she must put aside her pride and prejudice and go among ordinary people to observe and ponder their lives. If she wants to be a big star, then just keep the status quo. In the ever-changing entertainment industry, maybe one day the name Yang Mi will no longer exist. It's all her own choice. People prefer people who do nice things to people who say nice things. Yang Mi needs to think about her choice, and the audience should also reflect, an actor like Yang Mi with mediocre acting skills has been popular in the entertainment industry for more than 10 years. Isn't it our audience's fault? Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,